primary school, probably the best time in our little childhood lives and yet most of us took it for granted. Today we're just going to be going over some of the interesting and funny things that happened in primary school man because honestly it was amazing and yeah let's get into the video. <laughs> So this video we're just going to be running through all the stuff that happens in primary school on a day-to-day -day basis. So first we start off, we enter the school, we're all happy, we've got our backpacks on, and then it starts off with morning assembly. Okay now, this this could either be the best or the worst time in our, in our school time lives. Well, first of all, we'd all be tired as hell. We'd walk in, us year sixes would sit on the benches, and then the teacher would come in and they'd do, Good morning school! Oh my god. You have to say good morning everyone. Oh, it was horrible. And there was this one teacher that just like wanted to try and make it more upbeat. So like literally she would go good morning. That was just the worst. And then when we wouldn't do the exact same thing back, she would make us do it over and over again until we did it. I mean, if that if that did deter us from just doing it every time then oh, I don't know what did. Yeah, and then they just the normal assembly would just go through. You do all the normal, normal stuff like going through birthdays and uh, open the book and stuff like that. And then you'd get onto practicing of hymns. The hymns were just some of them are legendary, some of them are bad. One one of the most amazing ones of all times, Conkers. Oh man, Conkers was just. It was the best time. When you, you knew it was going to be spring, when the hymn Conkers came along, and you just sing your art out with Conkers, man. It was just amazing. Obviously now I don't think about Conkers that much. Uh, it doesn't really come into my head often, so... Yeah. Then there was like the, like an actual hymn that we'd like progressed throughout the years. You like One year would sing one group, and then the whole school would join in eventually, and just the year sixes would have to start it off first which just made everyone really awkward during that time. It's like, there's life in our melody. Okay, this, this, I like this one, but not many people did because obviously the year six had started off first. Oh, it was, it was so bad, but easily the best one that there could be. Spring chicken. Oh my, oh my God, this, this, this was the best because it wasn't a hymn. You just you could just sing your heart out, and whenever it got to the main point, we'd just go spring chicken. Everyone would turn mental. You'd start belting it out. Oh man, it was it was the best one ever. It was the best one ever, and you could just flap your arms about. And oh, I swear, if we flapped even harder, our, our arms would dislocate. But yeah, all of that would be done, and then we would eventually walk out of assembly, either happy or just very tired. And then we would go into lessons, and it would be probably the worst time during our primary school day, it would be like literacy or numeracy. Best stuff that could happen during that time was just having chats with your mates on a table or just getting along with the people on your table. I mean, the insults though. The insults were top class. Back in the day, it would absolutely destroy you. Could also do really funny things by, you know, just kicking the chair out of your mate's way when he's about to sit on the chair, which was just top class comedy back in the day. And they'll just fall over, they'll be like, <laughs> my ass. And then yeah, you would just laugh laugh your way to it. Then, you know the point where it's been taken too far, when you see the hand being risen up and they say, I'm telling. This is just, this is the worst. Everything would be running through your brain, I'm gonna get told off, I'm gonna get yelled at. Oh my god, no. Oh. You just, you knew that moment, it was just, it was done. You couldn't do anything about it, they did it. The teacher would start to walk over and then, yeah, can I just go to the toilet, please? Ah, you little fuck. Obviously, you would laugh about it afterwards, but you know, just that 5% of the time, they would actually tell on you, and then not much would happen, really. You'd either get, mo you'd either get moved, or you'd just, uh, nothing would happen. You'd, you'd be given a warning, which was the worst thing to be given back in the day, but it doesn't really affect us anymore. But the games during like the end of the lesson though, when you just have like five minutes remaining, oh, they were just the best, weren't they? I mean, at the end of numeracy or maths as we call it now, I can't remember the actual name for it, but you had to um, answer the maths question the quickest and then you'd win. That was, oh, that was, I think that was the best game of all, to be honest. I'll never forget this moment. Good old Sean. We were playing the maths game and this was back when the, what's nine plus 10? 
equals 21 meme was around and everyone was asking, oh, do 9 plus 10 win? Everyone was saying, oh yeah, it's 21, it's 21, 9 plus 10 is 21. Sean piped up. Okay, Sean piped up, the brave man that he is. And he said, it's not 21, it's 18. I mean, that's just, uh, that, that's probably one of my favourite moments from primary school, really. Now on to possibly the best time of the day. They're literally the opposite from maths and literally, which is the worst time of the day. It is the best time of the day break slash lunch. Oh my god. This was easily the best time for many, many reasons. You'd go outside, you'd play all sorts of games, you'd have all sorts of toys from like the toy shed thingy, and oh, you'd just, you'd go mental. So there was so many varieties of tag, I mean, let's be honest. Like, tag, tag was the elite game back in the day. It was, it was so good. Tag on the line, we had like the Slenderman version where like, if you look at the person, they couldn't get you because you had stood still. Oh, it was amazing. But easily, the best tag game was Tarmac to Tarmac. And now, if some of you may remember this, some of you might not, but it was when, and if you're from like a different primary school, you might actually know this because some primary schools are different. On two sides of the playground, there were two different Tarmac areas and you had to run from two different Tarmac areas and you had to avoid being tagged. And I'm pretty sure this is British Bulldog now, except it was like more safer and fun. They banned it. Because there was a, they were afraid the little kids were going to get trampled by the big kids. Just, oh no. They issued some advice, and this advice, this was the worst advice of them all, alright? Their advice not to trample kids was, if you see you're about to collide with a kid, run faster. Because they said, if you slow down, there's more of a chance that you'll collide and just knock them over. But isn't running faster and then colliding into them worse? And then, after the wonderful lessons, you'd all go home. Screw everything I said before about this being the best time at primary school. No, 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 no. You'd go home, you'd get on a smart t-shirt, and then you'd go to a school disco. That, that is just the best way to end, to end a school day, isn't it? Or end your school, school year completely. I mean, you'd get 50p, and then you'd just get high off sherbet. I wish I could be younger and go to school discos, because it was just amazing. Now, there was always a few classics with DJs, especially at school primary schools. First of all, the best song of all, Crazy Frog. Now, this little blue dude would go around with an imaginary motorcycle with his dick hanging out, and everyone thought it was funny, and everyone would just sing along to it. After the infamous Gangnam Style craze, it, it just played at every school disco. Like, you couldn't get away from it. Even if you tried to and you didn't listen to it, it would play. But yeah, that was pretty much the school day. Uh, it is, it, it's the best time. I reckon we took it for granted back in the day, but it was, it was the best time. It was the best time of schooling. You could do whatever you want, really. But I've actually managed to get my hand on some photos of me in primary school. Now this, this is just insane. I mean, my hair's long now because I'm in lockdown. I can't get a haircut, which feels like for an eternity. But this guy... This guy had a choice. I can't tell whether I'm adorable or just absolutely horrific. And this is a fair warning to the few people that are gonna see this photo. This this is this is gonna have graphic content of me back in the day. If if you get scared easily, don't look at the next picture. Okay. Here we go. I mean it's just, it's horrifying. Like, if you saw that, you would, you'd run away. You'd run away in the streets. But yeah, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've actually really liked making videos like these. Uh, I think they're really good and really well. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, and especially more like primary school videos, going back and talking about much more, because I have a lot more to talk about with primary school. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, snipe in the comments below, and see you all next time. Bye.